Hello and welcome to our channel All Crow. Today we are diving into the world of colors and exploring the difference between natural color and synthetic colors. Have you ever wondered how the color of food, clothing or even the paint on your wall is created? Let's find out. Colors play a significant role in our daily lives, whether it is in food we eat, the cloth we wear and the product we use. Understanding the difference between natural and synthetic colors will give us a insight into the various sources and properties of color. Firstly, let us define natural colors. Natural colors are derived from the natural sources found in the environment. These sources include plant, animal and minerals. For centuries, humans have used natural colors to obtain pigments for coloring various substances for example fruit and vegetables like berries, beets and spinach. Contain natural pigments that can extract it and used to add colors to the food and beverages. On the other end, synthetic colors are artificially created in the laboratory through chemical processes. These colors are known as synthetic color or artificial color because they are not found in the nature in the same form. Synthetic color are produced by chemically modified compounds to create a specific hues and shades. These colors are often used in manufacturing industries such as textile, cosmetics and food processing. Both natural and synthetic color have their advantages and disadvantages. Let's explore them. Advantages of natural color Highlighting their organic origin, potential health benefits and cultural significance. Disadvantages of natural color Limited color range, sensitivity to environmental factor and wet variation. Advantages of synthetic colors Wide range of colors, stability, consistency and cost effectiveness. Disadvantage of synthetic colors Perception of artificiality, concern about safety and potential health risk. Difference between natural color and synthetic color. First, source. They are derived from natural sources such as plant, animal and minerals. Synthetic color. Produced chemically in the laboratory using artificial ingredients. Second, origin. Obtained from natural without any significant alteration. Synthetic color. Created through chemical processes and often involves the modification of natural compounds. Third, variability. Natural colors have variations in sale intensity and due to environmental factors and growing condition. Synthetic colors. Synthetic colors are precisely formulated, resulting in the consistent color output. Fourth, safety. Natural colors. Natural colors generally considered safe for consumption as they are derived from edible sources. Synthetic colors Synthetic colors must undergo extensive testing and regulations to ensure safety for consumption. Some synthetic colors have been associated with health concern. Fifth, labeling. Often labeled by their natural sources, we would extract or turmeric. Synthetic color Identified by their color index name or specific chemical name. Example, red 40 and yellow 5. Sixth, application. Natural colors. Natural colors are widely used in the traditional food, preparation, cosmetics and textile. Synthetic color. Commonly used in the processed food, beverages and cosmetics. Seventh, stability. Natural colors. May be less stable than synthetic colors and can fade or change over time when exposed to light, heat or pH fluctuation. Synthetic color. Synthetic color often more stable and resistant to environmental factors, resulting in longer lasting color properties. Eighth, environmental impact. Natural colors generally considered more environmentally friendly as they are derived from renewable resources and biodegradables. Synthetic colors. Production of synthetic color may involve the use of non-renewable resources, energy intensive processes and production environmental pollution. Ninth, composition. Natural colors. Natural colors are composed of complex mixture of pigments, other compounds found in the natural sources. Synthetic color. They are typically made up of a specific chemical compound designed to produce a desired color. Tenth, example. Natural colors. Food industry, cosmetics, textile and art. Synthetic color. Food additives, dyes, pigments and industrial application. Understanding these differences helps us to make informed choices about the colors we encounter in our daily lives 
enabling us to appreciate the fascinating world of colors i hope this explanation has provided you with a clear understanding of this topic feel free to ask any further question you may have thanks for joining us today and we will see you in the next video